A quantum computer that fits on your desk is now a reality. You heard it right, and we're not exaggerating. Scientists at Taiwan's National Xinhua University have built the world's smallest quantum computer. This computer is the size of a desktop PC and can operate at room temperature. Currently, the size of quantum computers varies depending on the technology used and the type of quantum bits. Generally, they are quite large and complex, as most of these machines must operate at very low temperatures to maintain properties like quantum superposition and entanglement. This requires massive cooling systems and delicate equipment. If the temperature rises, quantum bits lose their superposition and entangled states, effectively turning the quantum computer into a regular one. For example, IBM's superconducting qubit-based quantum computers take up an entire room due to the cooling equipment and supporting electronics. Likewise, Google's Sycamore quantum computer is of similar size, requiring a large laboratory space. In these machines, processor chips are generally small, but the hardware needed to cool and operate them takes up a lot of space and consumes considerable energy. To understand how Taiwanese scientists achieved what Google and IBM could not, and more importantly, how they turned building-sized quantum computers into desktop-sized ones, let's explain the fundamental difference between a conventional computer and a quantum computer. Conventional computers process information using bits, which can be either zero or one. Quantum computers, on the other hand, use qubits which can be both zero and one at the same time. In truth, this explanation may not mean much to most of us. So let's use a simple example to clarify. Imagine you want to crack a three-digit password. A conventional computer tries each possible password one by one. Let's assume the processor of this computer can make one attempt per second. Since it only has information about three digits, it sequentially checks these combinations, but it can only make one attempt at a time, 000, 001, 002, 003, 004, 005, 006, 007, 008, bingo. The password is 008, so our conventional computer finds it in 8 seconds. Now, let's assume our quantum computer also has the power to make one attempt per second. However, because it can process data in two possibilities simultaneously, it can fit eight possibilities into a single attempt. After just one second, it finds 008 on the first try. As a result, the ability of qubits to exist in multiple states simultaneously allows quantum computers to examine many possibilities in parallel, making them significantly faster than conventional computers. For multiple possibilities to be applied simultaneously, superposition and entanglement are essential. To enable these two quantum phenomena, you need a very cold environment and powerful coolers. These requirements also mean that quantum computers need large space and equipment. Additionally, as you can understand from this example, widespread quantum computers may pose a serious problem in terms of code-breaking capabilities, or more clearly, current encryption technology may become obsolete. The world's smallest machine of this kind uses a single photon as a quantum bit and performs calculations without requiring bulky equipment that operates near absolute zero. This machine operates using a single photon, a particle of light, placed within a ring-shaped optical fiber, as scientists stated in a study published in Physical Review Applied on September 3rd. This machine is currently effective only in mathematics, but its future potential is wide open. In this new study, scientists built a machine capable of performing calculations at room temperature. Since it doesn't require cooling, this quantum computer is the size of a typical desktop PC. Chu Chi Sung, a quantum optics professor at Taiwan Xinhua University and the lead author of the study, explained that this quantum computer stores information within 32 time bins or dimensions of a single photon's wave packet. 
He added that this sets a world record for the number of computational dimensions accessible by a single qubit. Chu and his team compressed all the information into a single stable photon. He compared this work to turning a single passenger bicycle into a 32-car train that can carry many passengers. The next step, he noted, is to increase the storage capacity of a single photon to handle more complex calculations. Because this machine uses a photon as a qubit, scientists noted that it could be easily integrated into future quantum communication networks or classical computing systems based on light. While you can't yet go to Media Markt or Best Buy to buy this computer, Taiwanese scientists seem to have signaled that those days may be closer than we think. In essence, the world is moving fast. See you in our next video.